I'm talking about the list here. So, all right, YouTube. Today we're going to stream the Modern Challenge and play some Stoneblade. Um, deck list I have built today with the main deck has in mind beating the various Chalice decks. So we're not going to lose to a Karn deck today. We have four true names to have just a good solid attacker. Our back to basics, Stoneforge Mystic. They play creatures. We got Palace Jailer for removal. And then we've got some spell pierces to get underneath Chalice of the Void and get underneath Karn. So we're really gunning for the um, the various Chalice of the Void decks with our game one configuration here. Um, we're pretty weak against um, like other blue decks with how this is built. But in the sideboard, we have ways to adjust that. We have Fluster Storms, we have Vendillion Clicks, we have Narsets, Gideon as a way to another potent threat to come in and attack all these various Planeswalkers that are running around the format right now, as well as just being a good mid-range threat. Uh, we've even got more. We've Disenchant. I cut a Containment Priest. Combo is on the downswing at the moment. I almost cut a Fluster Storm, but that's good in the blue mirrors. Um, so like our deck is designed to beat up on other creature decks, other weird land decks and um, other weird land decks and uh, losing my train of thought. Um, in game one and then game two, we sideboard in like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at least eight, maybe nine, ten cards against miracles, which I'm cutting. I'm just cutting my. I, mean, I, I like to sideboard in Supreme Verdict against miracles as well. Just to be able to handle um, handle Monastery Mentor, but like against Miracles, I'll cut like two Stone Forge Mystics, four Plows, a Jet, the Back to Basics. So that's already four nine cards and like cuts like slim down on Trinity Nemesis. Yeah, Spell Pierce is 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 there for it today. Yeah. Two Palace Jailer, dude. Palace Jailer fucks. It's card advantage that also attacks these Planeswalkers. I was so close to playing a Teferi Hero, a Teferi Hero of Dominaria today. So close. If I would have played these back to basics in my sideboard, I would have played a Hero of Dominaria in the main deck. But, like, it's just so expensive. Like, what it does right now, I think, is pretty good. The fact that... Um... The fact that it... The fact that, um... Gosh, I'm losing my train of thought. Um, the fact that Teferi can answer so many problematic permanents that are in the format right now, like Karn, Chalice, other, like, minus on Planeswalkers, and also win the game, but just five mana is a lot. Thoughts on Teferi, the Time Raveler? Um, I think the Teferi, the Time Raveler, is, like, pretty overrated in Legacy. Like, I would rather, like... And I, I think that if I want, I don't want to play an effect like that. I would much rather just be like trying to run haymakers and kill my opponent. Play ancient tomb. What do you mean, sir? Narset's there for the blue mirrors and also against combo decks. The fact that like I can just go like counterspell some cantrips in the early game, or like play Narset, then play Narset means like they can't recover, like they can't get out of what they're doing. Play an ancient tomb. Just play a mox diamond. It makes mana. That's what I should be doing. We should be starting up here at any moment. All right, long play, which is gas. My hand's good. We're gonna play the island as I don't want to lead off on a fetch land and if they, they give me something to plow on turn one i'll just do it on turn two and feel sad in my life though i could play the fetch land because but then i would have to like fetch a duel because they're not flooded strand yeah i love i almost played a teferi i'm only gonna four So my opponent might do the old not show you anything. <coughs> Considering they molded four cards. Right, I'm not going to do anything either. I'm 
about a ponder? Ponder doesn't give away very much. All right, we want both of these because they're gonna. There are ticket. These are meal tickets. At the end of the game. We're only gonna need one, but I will want the fourth land eventually. So we're gonna go like this. I guess I should have drawn one of them in case I have to spell Pierce here for some reason. There's definitely a chance my opponent's playing like Reanimator. So this is gonna be an island. I could like game the system here, but I don't really want to do that. Phil, what are you looking at? Oh. Phil sees a bug on the other side of the window and he's losing his mind. He's trying to get it. My opponent's name is a Narset. We might be playing against like Reanimator and they're just trying to like. Just trying to discard. That could be legit. I'm going to play this Flooded Strand. Because I don't want to play this. I want to brainstorm this away. It's either Reanimator or they're like, I'm not going to play anything. Because I'm, I'm old to four on the play. Like my opponent's probably just going to concede, yeah. So... I'm going to go out on a ledge here and assume my opponent is some degen combo deck. And that's how we're going to sideboard. So I want my clicks. Probably want Flusterstorm, Surgicals. I'm probably not going to board in Narset because I only like that against like the blue ones. Yeah. So we're going to cut these. I'm going to cut my Jaces. I'm going to cut this. Um, I'm gonna cut my true names. I might just sideboard like a million cards now that we're thinking about it. I would argue we still don't have action, accurate info. I'm just gonna set my deck up to kind of answer the field as long as it's not a blue deck. Like, we're still going to keep in some removals, some counter spells, a little bit of card advantage. Like, bring this Narset in because it's also good at handling other decks. I'll cut, like, one Stoneforge Mystic. Like, Narset is going to give me a little bit of hedge. Because I, I don't think we're playing against a blue deck. Because a blue deck just doesn't mulligan to four when you have eight brains. When you have four brainstorms and four ponders in your deck. Like, at five cards, land, ponder, anything is keepable. At six cards, like, basically land, ponder, anything is kind of keepable. So I'm just going to hedge on my opponents not playing a blue deck. The way I have sideboard leaves me pretty dead against death and taxes. But whatever. Yeah, top four in yesterday with humans was nice. I hadn't played the deck in a while and just picked it up. I'm going to keep this hand. I have a force of will and I have a ponder and a snapcaster mage and like lands to get underneath me. Opponent mulligan again. Mulligan to five. Kept their fiver. Put a card on the bottom. City of Traders. Okay, so we were wrong. Get that out of my face. All right. Um, what are the odds we're playing against Blood Moon? So I can't ponder into anything effectively here because I can't ponder into force plus blue card. So I actually just kind of want to play windswept teeth and pass because if we're playing against a blood moon deck, I want to be able to fetch a planes in order to go stoneforge mystic next turn. All right. Um, 
and I'm just gonna I'm still just gonna play Stone Forge Mystic. Like the Batter Skull is gonna take care of whatever's going on here. We just drew a Force of Will. I would like to have an Umazawa's Jitte against this thing. But like Batter Skull's just gonna get this. I feel so smart and thin having hedged against Blood Moon and then being correct. Oh, my fetch land? You're saying why not play my fetch land? Yeah, I should have played my fetch land. Yeah, I should have played the polluted delta in case... You right. Now is the life loss worth it? I'm just going to ponder first. And if I like my cards, then I'm not going to shuffle. I don't like these cards. Alright, there's another mystic. My one life point gonna matter. Oh, I guess I just ditched my blue card. That was bad. I just zoned out. Didn't even think about getting another blue card. We could get whacked for that. I'm gonna play my Flooded Strand so that I can go fetch double white so I can cast Council's Judgment if my opponent moons me. I could also get whacked here because I left a fetch land too. Yeah, I didn't play this turn very well. Because, like, they can just go, I can just go, like, they could go in response to your fetch land, hit this. Yeah, I didn't do that very well. That was a poorly played second game by me. Well, both teams tried hard. 